I must wait a moment. Cage three. Where is everyone hiding? One enemy remaining. Oh my god. This is the new gaming mouse from the AimLab and Asus ROG collaboration. It's the ROG Harp Ace AimLab Edition. I'll give you my thoughts on the mouse and why you might want to pick this up. For transparency, this video is sponsored by ASUS ROG and the sample is provided, but they want me to be transparent and give my honest thoughts on the mouse as it is. First, it has all the features you would want in a high-end mouse. Top optical sensor, lightweight, only 54 grams, low latency wireless connectivity, and it also has 90 hours of battery life. Plus, it looks nice with the teal and black color combination. Oh, and also the stickers, they look sick in my opinion. I was maining this mouse for a week and I'm quite surprised by how well it performs. Now some little background, I've been using some great gaming mice like the Final Mouse Starlight, Razer Death Adder V3 Pro, Jeeper Superlight, and the Fiverr Ultimate. Those are the gaming mice I usually recommend people to get, and I think the ROG Harp Ace easily deserves to be in that recommendation. It performs great and it has a safe shape that I think will fit many people. The overall shape doesn't remind me of any other gaming mice I've used, but the back hump reminds me a bit of the XM1R. And it doesn't take long for me to adjust to this mouse, unlike my Final Mouse Starlight which gave me some pain in the first few days of using it. But yeah, somehow it's still my main mouse. The only thing that could be improved with this mouse is the feet. They are not terrible by any means, as I've been using the mouse with the stock feet. But getting smoother third-party mouse feet will definitely improve the experience. Hey, um, Editor Fane's here, so I just realized that I've been using the mouse with the sticker on the front mouse gate. So all the clips in this video, I use the mouse still with the stickers installed on the mouse feet. After removing the stickers, they were pretty good. This mouse is also integrated with AimLab. You can use some features that recommend which DPI you should use, angle tuning, and the lift off distance settings. I personally don't use them, but I see that they can help some people who need help adjusting their DPI, sense, or mouse settings. Oh, and this cool looking mouse pad with AimLab theme color, it's all right. Overall, it's an easy recommendation by me for anyone looking to get a new lightweight gaming mouse. But don't just take my word for the review. You can continue watching the clips of me using the mouse to see how well it truly performs. If you're interested in it, links will be in the description. You will not kill my ally. Mid, 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 mid. Wing B. Spike planted. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Placing 
Spawn predict, spawn predict. Reloading. One enemy remaining. Can we run? Can we run? We go behind him uh, once I plan. 30 seconds left. Spikes down. Turn out. Facing alarm bot. I'm gonna stall him. I'm gonna die soon. Oh, uh, 6 HP. 6 HP. Nice. You will not be killed by allies. Don't fight, bro. Don't fight it. Found them. Uh, one pushing our teacher. I don't have plastic. Enemy remaining. Oh, try harder. Uh, one, one arcade. I've got your trail. Last tower, last tower. 